Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Karen Auha with the Art Boss Formula. Happy Friday. I'm super glad you're here. I just say it every week. I'm so excited on Friday mornings. I get to wake up and I get to spend time with my art bodies, all my art friends, all those people that like it's been a crazy spring. It's been a crazy it's been a crazy summer. It's going to be a crazy fall. Right. And I mean, I used to get like all my art fixes and I didn't realize I was getting them. Right. But I, there's no art shows that I can go to there. Like the galleries are still limited and I'm just missing hanging out with my art buddies. So thank you so much for coming in today into the art boss formula. And I'm going to just kind of go ahead and get started, get moving on this one, because today we're going to be talking about cold, to sold. I know it's like a little, you know, rhyme, a rhyme thing, but here's the reality. All right. When we limit our sales to just those people who are friends and family, we're eventually going to plateau and our business is just, our leads are going to plateau and our, our revenues are going to plateau. And then like our revenues are going to kind of just, just peter away. So, um, I am super excited to be here today, guys and just kind of start talking about cold to sold. It's gonna be a four part series. And today we're gonna to talk about the cold part, all right? Hey, Deborah, it's good to see you. Hey, as you guys are signing in, say hi. You know what else I wanna know as you guys are signing in? Tell me where you're from. I'm in the middle of Fayetteville, Arkansas, right? Well, I'm actually at the top, northern top part of, of, um, of Arkansas, but I'm in the middle of the country and um, our weather today was like super crazy. I woke up to like a monsoon. I mean, I actually thought I was in the, in like the Caribbean or something like the, the wind with like the rain and the wind was going sideways when I woke up and I literally went, Oh no, I better check the weather. But anyway, everything's fine here. And I just would love to know where you guys are coming in and hailing from. Would love to know that as you guys are signing in. So hot Springs. Yes. I love hot Springs. It's so cool. I just love that place. My daughter used to do cheer and we would have a cheer competition there every year. So, um, yeah, she was in competitive cheer. A long story short. Yeah, I was a cheer mom for a while, but it wasn't really my gig. But that's OK. I mean, she was good at it. What she loved. They actually took national championship. The the um, they a little team from Fayetteville beat out all those Dallas teams and took um, the 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 national cheer NCA. Yeah. Yeah. The year she was in it. So, yay. Anyway, long story short. Hey, so. I want to today talk about cold to sold, right? And I guarantee you that if you're only selling to those people that you know and your friends and family, you're gonna, your sales are gonna, and your revenue streams are gonna start like going away. And, you know, selling to like, if we talk about like the seven degrees of Kevin Bacon, you know, right? Like how people know each other, selling to that first degree out is, is really the first place we start. And it's not super hard either, but we really need to get out to traffic and get out to people who just have, may not have ever heard of us, may not know our face, may not know our name, may not be recognize our artwork, but we have to get to them. We, we're going to talk about like that, that like that need that we have to be able to do that. All right. So last week we talked about the human connection. Okay. So during the human connection, we talked about layering in like um, the, the personal touch, right? Layering in and sharing with how to make people feel special. And the core to that presentation was about Facebook groups. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that, it's called the human connection. Go ahead and grab it because it's going to talk a lot about Facebook groups and we're going to take off from there. We're going to talk about uh, nurturing inside of our Facebook groups. If you want to know why there, then you want to watch why um, you want to watch the human connection because we talk a lot about the difference between Facebook groups and Facebook pages. And um, it's just a whole presentation on that. So also the week before we talked about math. All right. We talked about the um, conversion rate and why math is really important in the art boss formula. So we're going to be doing this four part series cold to sold that is going to combine that information to combine the human connection with the math. Okay. So that's what this is all about. So today we're going to be focusing on the cold. We're going to talk about what cold is and why we need cold. All right. And why we don't want it to stay cold, but we want to warm it up. OK, so um, I just guarantee that you only have so long before you're going to plateau with your organic traffic and the and just selling to the people that you currently know. OK, so um, 
I also want to stop here and say kudos to you when you're selling to your family and friends. Okay, here's why. Because a lot of us get stuck into the trap where we give away our art, like especially if we get started, we give away our art and we give it away to friends and family and we set a precedence that they expect free art. So I want to say kudos to you when you sell to your friends and family. That is a good thing. Okay. It's, it's, I just want to like put that out there and say, okay, that's where we start. And now let's go out more degrees to where we are moving into traffic that it, that's considered cold traffic. All right. So who wants to be like separate our businesses from our competitors? Who wants to level up our businesses and claim what, what is ours? I'm just telling you, you're going to, when you start reaching out to the degrees of people that you're not like you've never met, that's when you're going to elevate your brand and elevate your business. So let's just go ahead and lean in and get started. Hey, Shelly, it's good to see you. Hey, Judy, it's good to see you too. And you're from Florida. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's toasty in the South, right? I'm like, at, I'm like right on the border of Missouri, which Missouri is considered the North and I'm considered the South, but I'm telling you, it's a hot here. And if it's hot here, I bet it's even hotter in, in Florida. Hey, Julie, it's good to see you too. And I know you're from Cincinnati, so you're probably getting some serious like weather as well right now. So, Hey, I just want to say when you hear something you like, give us some fire. All right. So I want those little fire emo emojis and here's why they're important. Number one, they help me to know when I hit a topic that you guys want to know more about. Like you're like, oh yeah, that really resonated and I really like want to know more about that. Number two, it helps everybody get fired up because you know what? If we're here on Friday and spending our lunchtime here, let's have a little bit of fun too, okay? So if you guys want to lean in and we want to start talking about cold traffic, let's get some fire going. Let's do that, all right? Hey, okay, let's just do it. So last week we talked about the safe place to nurture where we can um, nurture our audience and we can build that trust and that relationship. Thank you for the fire, Tammy. Thank you, Shelly, for the fire. We talked about that place where we can nurture and that's that Facebook group, right? So that's currently the best place to nurture our group, all right? When we're trying to sell our artwork online, we can't just go out to a cold audience and go, Hey, I have a painting. Do you want to sell it? They're going to say, or, Hey, I have a painting. Do you want to buy it? They're going to say, no, thank you. Right. We have to pull them in somewhere. We have to nurture them so that when we make our offers, they're like, I know you, I trust you. I like the problems that you're solving. I have the problems that you're solving and it's a no brainer. So when we make our offers, they just automatically pull out their credit cards. All right. So I'm just curious. Did anyone start a group in the last, uh, let's just say two, like, let's say month or two and go, oh my gosh, the reach numbers inside my group are just way better than my pages. So if you had like watched last week's live and you started a group and you were kind of hesitant, let me know here. Cause I would love to know if you guys are starting those Facebook groups. All right. So, um, we're going to take a minute and look at the art boss formula. And this week I'll make sure I push all the buttons so you can see my whiteboard because I want to start with the art boss formula. I want to, I'm going to give you that framework again so that when we start digging into cold audiences, you know exactly like where we are in the formula and what we're talking about. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and share that screen real quick. Let me grab this and then I'm going to share screen, share screen. This is what I forgot to hit last time. Share. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here we go. All right. I'm going to pop over to my whiteboard and this is the art boss formula. This is what it comes down to. Actually, the art boss formula is pretty simple. It comes down to four components. It's the invitation, it's nurturing, it's the offer, and then we analyze, all right? So this big circle is the Facebook group where we can create that human connection, right? We talked all about that last week. This is this is where we are nurturing and we're, and we're this is our audience, all right? Our audience contains people who may have purchased from us. Our audience may contain people who will never purchase from us. They may contain people that when we nurture them, they will purchase. The numbers kind of run down to conversion rate. People who are going to purchase every time we make an offer is around 3%. The people who will never purchase from us, but we're going to have to nurture anyway is around 30%. So that leaves right about what, um, 67% of the people who are in our group when nurtured will purchase. All right. So the number one thing that we need to do, let me grab the number one thing we're going to need to do is we need to invite. All right. This is where we invite, we invite, we invite, and this is where the cold, we're going to be talking a lot about this today because this is where cold is. We have warm leads and we have cold leads. We have warm audiences and we have 
cold audiences. Right here, our Facebook group, that's our warm audience. We're warming them up every day, but they're warm. Out here, when we're inviting, these are cold people who may never have heard our name, seen our artwork, but we're still showing them what we're doing, okay? So we invite, we invite, we invite. We invite them into our Facebook groups. We just gotta always be doing that. We always have to do it, all right? We start with the people that we know, our friends and family, and our warm audiences, but we eventually have to get to cold. So once they're in there, we, we nurture them. And we talked about um, nurturing strategies. Nurturing strategies really come down to three types of nurturing. Um, we can entertain them, we can educate them, and we can make them feel special. So when we're nurturing all these people, they're getting to know us and we're nurturing to their problems. We're showing them how actually our product does solve their problems, right? Um, that's, that's what we're doing, all right? So here's the deal. We have to go to where we're making offers to these people. If we consistently just nurture, 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 and never make an offer, I guarantee you, your customer or your competition will come in. Your customer will go to someone else. You'll spend all your time and money nurturing, and then they'll go buy from someone else. So we have to be making offers as well. Now, once we've gone through this whole process where we're inviting people in and we're nurturing them and we're making offers, then we can go down here and we, we can start analyzing what we're doing, what we need to change, okay? So if we get stuck here and we never make an offer, we can never analyze. We can't perfect our offer. We can't perfect our invitation strategies. So I just wanna talk about that for a second to let you know that if you get stuck right here before you make an offer because your offer isn't perfect and you don't wanna go out until your offer is perfect, you are going to um, A, lose your client, they're gonna go buy from someone else, and B, you're never gonna be able to get to the analyzing where you can actually start perfecting your offer, right? So let's make sure that everything worked and you got to see that this time. It looks like you did. There's no one saying, I can't see your whiteboard. <laughs> that happened last week. So we did the presentation twice. But, so that's what it is. I wanted to give you the framework first. I wanted to show you how the Art Boss formula is that framework where we can start building it out and taking cold to sold taking cold traffic and walking away with like nurturing, 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 making our offers and then adjusting and analyzing so that we know how to invite the right people, nurture better, and then go to the offer and create a better offer. So I see that Tammy has a question real quick. I'm gonna grab that. Um, do you invite them by clicking invite to your group? Yeah, that's one way I do it. I. I, whatever Facebook recommends, I'll do it that way. Um, as we start growing and we start curating our groups, let's let Facebook curate it for us. Now, just recognize they may not know our same standards of the people we want in our group. So go back to last week with the um, human connection and we talked about curation and making sure the right people are coming into our groups. But yes, I do use that number. or I use that invitation little button over there and then, um, posting on a page by inviting them to come. Yes, both ways. So um, we use lots of invitation strategies in the Art Boss Academy. That's a really great question, um, Tammy. So we are, it's not like just one way. We find the way that works best for our business and we continue to do that, right? And when I say way, I'm not implying one strategy. I'm talking multiple strategies, okay? So that is how we do it, okay? So awesome. All right, here's the thing. When we continue to grow our group, remember how I circled the, the invite? We have to constantly be inviting. When we can, like continued group growth will lead to continued growth in your revenue, all right? That's like more people, nurture, and they'll become your customers, all right? And really what ends up happening, because we're nurturing so well, they're not just one-time, thank you for the fire. They're not just one-time customers. And here's the exciting part. They turn into repeat customers because we were nurturing and building that trust and building that relationship, layering in the human connection, right? And we're growing our group and we're growing our group and we're doing that because we have to in order to grow our revenues. But here's the thing. If we just rely on our friends and family, we're gonna plateau. I guarantee your business is gonna plateau. So how do we achieve constant growth? Like, what are we gonna do? Like, so it really comes down to, if, if 
our organic and friends and family strategy is going to start. It'll like at first it'll be like, woo, it'll go up and then it'll plateau. And then you just you have to constantly have new sources of potential clients coming in. Right. So you're like, I just guarantee that if you only sell to your family and friends, you're going to eventually your sales are going to nosedive. Right. Um, so how do we start growing that? All right. Here's the thing that I want to, I want to, like, we're going to stop now. We're going to say, okay, I want you to hear this. All right. We will always have to pay for our leads. And you're like, wait, what does that mean? Okay. Our friends and family are probably the only leads we don't have to pay for, but we kind of paid for it our whole lives, right? <laughs> so, I didn't say that, but we kind of did. We paid for it. We built that relationship over our lives, all right? But our leads, we're always going to have to pay for them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about some other income streams. And I also want to say I'm a huge fan of having multiple income streams. I work in art shows, not this summer. I work in art galleries, not this summer. I work in art licensing, starting to come back. I have multiple income streams. But here's what I want to show you, okay? We will always pay for our leads, no matter what, okay? In art galleries, we pay, I invite followers on social media accounts. Perfect, that's a great, that's another great invitation strategy. I'm sorry, it just says Facebook user. So thank you for that comment. Um, we will always pay for our leads, art galleries. We pay with like a 40% or more commission, right? And, um, and we're gonna, okay, so we pay with that. Art shows, we pay with like a flat fee to be involved and or a commission rate, whatever this, the show set up to be, and we pay with our time because we got to set up, and we got to do the show, and we got to clean up. Okay, um, we also have places online like uh, Fine Art America, um, Sachi and Sachi, places like that, right? And um, we pay a percentage again. Um, we pay a percentage of our sales, so we're always paying for our leads. Okay, now there's one difference here. I'm going to put those all together. Okay, they're different than when we sell our work online and we invite, we nurture, and we offer. We have, um, we have, we get our leads either organically or paid. Don't worry, we're going to get into that a little bit more, okay? But here's the difference between the online market and all those others, like galleries, art shows, um, the online galleries, right? Like the Fine Art American stuff like that, okay? We pay for our leads because we pay like 40% or more, right? And then we don't even get them. They don't even share who bought it. We don't have any way to follow up and ask, like, say, hey, I've got more specials. I've got artwork that matches that. I've got complimentary pieces. Um, I've got freebies for you. I've got things I want to give you for free. They're gone, right? So we, we pay for our leads no matter what. And we can choose to give that lead away to someone else and let them keep them or we can have them, okay? So, again, I want to say I – believe in multiple income streams and when i'm working in art licensing art galleries and art shows there are times where it's just no brainer where i go yeah i gave away the lead but i like wouldn't have gotten the sale anyway right okay so i'm like yeah i'm not saying not to do them but i'm saying if you're going to invest your time growing your business and trying to nurture your audience do not do not focus on income streams that are going to keep the leads and not share them now if you have a gallery who's going to share the lead with you Awesome. Awesome. If you have, um, you know, and even art shows, you can start grabbing some some of your lead list by having, you know, email list and just incentives for them to stop by and give you emails and stuff like that. So there are ways. But I just want to kind of like say when we work inside of the and this is where I get excited, we work inside of the online market. We own everything from creation, you know, production sales and delivery and now we have we ha we know who they are and they're part of our group and we continue to nurture them because i guarantee it's easier to sell to someone you've already sold to before than someone who's cold okay you will you will re you will find clients and customers that aren't just a one time off they become that they become people who come back to you when they're like i need a unique gift i love the piece that you did and i want another piece for another room all right so i'm just saying do not give away your leads unless you have to, okay? So newsflash, I'm gonna summarize it, newsflash. If we don't step into the most important part of the whole process, which is the selling part, because it feels icky or we don't know how to do it or it just doesn't feel good, then number one, you're not nurturing properly, but 
besides that, you haven't warmed them up properly. If you're stepping away from that, you're stepping away from your leads and you're stepping away from your potential income that's going to be coming over the next week, the next month, next year. OK, so newsflash, if you don't step into the selling process, you're giving away your leads to someone else and you're paying for them. And then you're giving them away the same. Just saying. So tell me you want to know like um, how to turn a customer into a repeat customer, right? How to take a brand new person and warm them up because that's that's what this all comes down to. All right. So here comes down to the traffic. When we talk about cold and warm, we're really talking about traffic and traffic is the people like think of it in the online market. It's the people who are out here in the, you know, like just in the cosmos and you want to bring them to where you are. Right. So it's traffic. And again, so traffic is what we're gonna talk about right now. We are going cold to sold, but let's talk about the different kinds of traffic, all right? So there are two kinds of traffic, there's warm traffic, and then there's cold traffic, right? Warm traffic is um, an example of it, is basically the people already know of you. They're, they've seen something about you. They're warmed up in just a little bit of a way, right? It could be where they just saw one ad on a Facebook ad and they're already warmed up. Or it could be they're your sister's best friend. You just never know, okay? Um, so one, like, so that, those are examples of that. Cold traffic, they've never met you. They've never heard of you. They don't even know you're an artist, but you like are able to get information in front of them and they are able to now start to like just, it's clicking in and they're starting to see some of your artwork. All right. A good example of this is there are 2.6 a billion. That's with a B Facebook users on a monthly basis around the world. All right. One of those could be your cold traffic. All right. That's, that's what it comes down to. All right. Or think about just anyone in the world, any kind of strategy you can get to be in front of a new audience that isn't your audience, that's a cold, that's cold to you. If it's not, if you don't own it and you don't like they don't know you, it's cold. Okay. So there's two kinds of traffic, warm and cold. And then ways to find the cold traffic, right? Let's talk about the ways that we find cold traffic. There's organic and paid. So when we're using organic paid strategies, we're using strategies that don't cost us money. That's basically what it says. It costs us usually a lot of time. There's going to be organic traffic that moves really easy and simple. And you're like, woohoo, that's great. You will plateau out of that. And then you start moving to where you have to bring some organic traffic by getting into other people's Facebook groups. Like if you have a best friend who is like has this really great Facebook group or Facebook page and they let you do, I don't know, a live painting in front of their group. That's really great organic traffic. And then you invite them to come to your your group in order to see more live paintings every Saturday or whatever you're doing. Right. So that's a really good example of organic. Now, organic will tap out as well because you only have so many friends who, who have groups in pages that are big enough to do that. Right. So then we have to start getting in front of um, people that we don't know. All right. So we're always going to have to get in front of people that we don't know. OK, so but yet we're not having to pay with our money. We're paying with our time. A good example of that. I do a lot of floral abstracts. So I identify florists that I like what they're doing. Like I love how they put together their flowers and their arrangements. I'll be like, can I do a live painting in your group? Like, can I do like if you show me what which one which one of your images you would like for me to create a floral abstract would love to do that for you. And I'll tell you what. It takes a lot of time, a lot of follow up, but it's so worth it because if you are in a Facebook group of a florist who has 20,000 followers, I'm telling you, you're going to get people for free coming to your group. All right. Second way is paid. Paid just basically means you're using your cash. All right. So paid is really comes down to advertising. All right. You can advertise in magazines. You can advertise in the newspaper. Anytime that you have to pay for it, you can advertise on Facebook ads. And I'm telling you, the 2.6 billion monthly users, there are people out there who want artwork. There's a lot of them who want artwork. There's a lot of them who don't want to leave their homes. They're probably like they want to purchase artwork and upgrade their boring surroundings, but they don't want to leave their house. And so when they see that you're going to ship it directly to their house and they don't have to leave, they're going to take, they're going to like start listening and take notice. Okay. So here's the thing. Stop giving away our leads. We need to stop giving away our leads when it makes sense. That's fine. There are times where you're just going to be like, yeah, I mean, I sold a painting in a gallery. I gave away my lead, but you know what? I sold a painting. Okay. Um, next week, we're going to talk about 
collecting key information and um, inviting cold audience to our group and what to do. So we're going to start talking about that first this week. I wanted just to get to the um, the cold. What is it like? What's the difference? What? Tell me what you mean by cold. OK, so I told you what I mean by cold. All right. It's those people who've never heard of us. All right. So who wants a large curated audience? community of people, a really like safe environment where people can be nurtured, nurtured, nurtured. Who wants that? So that when we make our offers, people are just ready to pull out their credit cards. Who wants that? I mean, I do. That's that's the whole art boss formula. It's like when we sell online and we're going to cold audiences, we can't just go, hey, do you want to buy this? Because I guarantee they're going to say no, or it's going to cost you too much money in ad spending, ad spending to get to that one person who's going to say, okay. So instead we want to invite them to our group where we can show them, build the trust, solve their problems, show how we're solving their problems. And that's how it, that's how it goes. Thank you for the fire because you know what? It's this formula is simple, but it's not easy. And in the Art Boss formula, in the Art Boss Academy, we build out the framework, right? So you've got it. You've got everything you need. You've got the whole entire like Art Boss formula. But when we look at invitation strategies, we really have to dig in and understand what kind of invitation strategies. When we're looking at nurturing, we really need to understand our audience, what their pain points are, what their problems are, so that we can nurture them the right way. And then we also have to constantly make offers because if we do all that work and never ask them to purchase, we're just giving away our sales to someone else. Like I said, don't give away your leads. Don't give away your sales either. All right. Neither one is neither one is part of the formula. OK, so next September this or this coming September, like next month, September 14th is the next Art Boss formula. And I'm like super excited. So I just opened registration yesterday and I just posted the link inside of the Art Boss formula. So if you're interested in being a part of the Art Boss formula for the next like boot camp, that's that five day free boot camp where we're going to break apart the Art Boss formula again. I want to, you to know that the link is in there and I'm just, I want, I want you guys, I would love to see you there. I'm like working really hard, building out the program even more. The Art Boss Academy is like the people inside the Art Boss Academy, they're going to their offers and they're going to their launches. They're making their, like, they're making their sales goal and they're exceeding them. I'm like, ah, this is so exciting, right? It works because it works. It works. It's just a, like, a different way to approach the online market. Okay. And so basically the difference between the first time. So if you guys were around for the first boot camp, I see a couple people who were, um, it, that we only paid, we only talked about organic traffic in our last boot camp. I wanted to keep it really simple. I wanted to talk about the art boss formula and I wanted, I didn't want it to get confusing. Here's the thing this time, we're going to talk about paid. We're going to talk about paid strategies. We're going to focus more on that cold. Okay. That's why I'm right leading up to the boot camp. I want to be talking about cold traffic and why it's so important. Okay. Because when we do the boot camp, that's where we're going to start digging in. I'm still going to go through an overview of the art boss formula and we're going to go through it because I really want you to understand conversion rates and human connection and nurturing. Right. But the reality is we need to get beyond the people that are our friends and family. We just have to. All right. So if you're interested, registered, Shelly, thank you. I saw that you were registered. That is super cool. Hey, if you, here's the thing. All right. If you have friends who are artists and you think would be interested in this, would you just share that, that like that pay or that little post with them? Would you pop it over to them and share it? That would be awesome. I'm just getting the news out. All right. I'm going to be using paid ads to let get the news out. All right. Some of you came into the art boss formula because I was advertising. All right. It's the cold traffic and warming you up. It's the same process. I'm going, I pay for ads for my artwork as well. And I bring them in and I nurture them. And it's like, if I am only selling to the people I know, I'm not going to be able to grow my business and I'm not going to be able to get consistent monthly income income. Right. I, I want to always do this. Right. I want to be able to paint on a Friday afternoon or a Saturday morning or a Tuesday at two. I want to be able to do that because that's what how I was coded. OK, that's how I was genetically coded to be an artist. And then the other part is I was also genetically coded to be a math geek. 
okay, which basically pulls together and why the whole thing works for me, why it's my jam, why I love doing it is because I believe as artists, we should be able to make a living wage inside of the art industry. And this is the framework to do that. So um, I am going to just kind of say like happy weekend. It's now sunshining after the like hurricane this morning. And I also want to let you know, if you want to go faster, right? So the Art Boss Formula Boot Camp is September 14th through 18th. Um, if you want to go faster and you want to like get dig in, there are options. All right. I just need for you to reach out to me. You can either comment here or you can send me a message because I can we can get started a little bit earlier if that's something you want to do. I'm just going to say it. The biggest selling season of the year is coming. And if that's something you would like to, you'd like to dig in. We've got 15 people in the Art Boss Academy. That group is growing and they are working on getting their group set up and doing their first like core offers, right? They're in that process. And some of them have already done it and they're going to their second launches. We call them launches. They're going to their second ones before Christmas, right? They're going to be like getting several in, fine tuning, analyzing. And if that's something that interests you, please let me know. All right. So again, I just love being here. Thank you for hanging in with me. It's about 30 minutes. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, thank you for sharing, Shelly. I would love that. Judy, I'm glad that you're registered too. And um, just let me know if you want to go a little bit faster because we can do that. And have a really great weekend, guys. And I will see you right here next Friday at noon Central Time. More free training part two of Cold to Sold. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.